Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here. More Ryan. Hopefully I queue into my same favorite little support man. Love this guy, Autumn Sky. It's chill as hell. Not on a smurf, but he's just a quick play warlord. Been nice having on my team though. Either way, I'll get kept when the game starts. Alright, looks like we got into a game. Hello. Thought it was me doing that, someone else definitely did that. Oh no way, they got the fucking... That Mercy from like 8 games ago. <laughs> I don't know how I remember that guy, he hasn't even spoken or anything. How are y'all doing? Cause you also have to initiate. A lot of people say like no one uses their mics or uses voice chat and then they don't speak. And the thing is if everyone just thinks, well nobody speaks and then they don't speak in game, then no one's gonna speak. You have to open up with like a, how's it going, how's the day, you know? Or if you're in a duo, you just continue the conversation you were having in team chat. <laughs> and then people join in if they want to. But now I know like no mics. If they don't go around, I'm probably going to drop a bit early. Yeah, see that there? That wasn't me trying to calm that. That was me saying that to try and get people to talk. And now I'm 100% certain that we have no mics. Before, I was like, um, maybe we don't have mics. Yeah, we could, we could not. Yeah, it's Schrodinger's, mic Schrodinger's microphone. Yeah, I'm just going to stand here denied Tracer that escape route. And then make sure to not pin the Sigma, because that would have been really bad if I were able to pin this guy and you know, do damage stream and all that. I need care cart. Thank you. Both the supports are in here. I'm gonna retake Kaya. Thought for a second I might get Tracer there. I get emptied again. There it is. I need to live. Uh, thanks. Hog walking on you, Larry. Watch out. Hog is on the left with with Kiri. A bit. Yeah. yeah. This is a game where I'm just sweating a bit more. Oh my fucking Christ, that was disgustingly good. Normally you focus Kiri there, but I had the feeling that if I'd focus Kiri I was gonna get slept, which ended up happening a second after anyway. That's wild. My bad, didn't think they'd pop there. Also at some point thought someone was with me, and I'll be honest, I, that's, that's what, yeah. I forgot we didn't really have anyone that could come with me. Like, I'm not even blaming my team here. It was just stupid on my part. Just had so many tracers and shit. Yep. I just had so many dive heroes in the recent games that I expected to have one on our team, and we have zero. And I'm retarded for thinking we had one and trying to play with that. Fine. I uh, should have pinned them to the right a bit more to get them off the map. Ooh. Right as I shielded, I'm lucky. Yeah. I'm feeling good about how I'm playing. Or chill. Sometimes you lose a B fight, so you just gotta regroup. To be fair, I think someone died really early that last fight, and that's why we lost the. You could swap something I'll never complain about. Even though that Alari was doing good on the heals. Which means they'll do even better. I saw that hog thing as I was kind of going around the corner, which is why I just stopped the breakout. 
The carry is flank right now. Or mind you drop. I have no shield. Big entry. You also have to make sure you gas up your teammates if they ever do anything good. And that was that was a good anti, it was a big anti on ironically one of that fight. Because it forced both Kiriko and a hog out. They just leave. Is Hog left? Oh he is, yeah. Hog ulting left. Up. Oh. Uh I'm dead. Sorry. I fucked up. We have nano visor here. You can see these people not using their mics, but they are communicating. Very important thing to, to be doing if you're really trying to win. If you're really trying to win, shit talking ain't gonna do anything. It can be fun, it can be a nice thing, you know, it's a good time a lot of the time, but it's not gonna be the reason you win a game ever. You're not gonna win because you're shit talking. I was hoping Genji would double jump again because I was gonna shatter him. Whatever. Let's send a cart here. I know this is a bit risky. It's a risk I'm deciding to take. Yeah, it worked out perfectly. Because if you give them the cart a little bit further out, then I wouldn't have the cart to use there as cover from a hog. That cart being where it is actually will help me fight hog. Which is a great thing. Let's just get back a bit. They bash you now. Nana blade incoming. Classic nano blade. Really not much you can do about that. You do have to go for the pin. If you're on Ryan and they nano blade, doesn't matter what's happening, you need to go for that pin unless you think your honor's gonna hit the sleep. Because if you pin the nano blade Genji, you might win the fight. If you let nano blade Genji run through your back line, you will lose the fight guaranteed unless you kill five yourself. If you have an Ani who's going to nano you at the same time and send you into the back line, go in then, right? Otherwise, you gotta go for the pin attempt. It's not smart, it's not going to work a high majority of the time, but it's kind of the only thing you can do. Yeah, another bash, another day. Uh, you see the way I like, kind of adjusted my camera to extend my hit get here give it like, the last frame of it? Well, I don't know if you actually saw that, but that was that was a deliberate attempt on my end. I won't let that be known. And Genji just fucking my back line. I, I can't do anything about that. Genji fucks the back line, back line loses the game. That's genuinely not my fault. Like I said, some games just losable. And that you should not adjust your playstyle around your team struggling with stuff like this. I mean, you could swap character and try to deal with it, but a lot of time that'll lead you to actually falling further because it'll make further problems. Like, for example, let's say that Genji's a problem, he's a problem for my backline. But uh, by me not diving that Genji, I'm making it so... Uh, Hog's still behind, by the way. Like, way behind at her spawn. Be cautious. Um, but by basically ignoring that Genji and dealing with the other guys, you stop everyone else from being a problem. If you go target that Genji, the people that you're keeping at bay will now be problems. And that is bad. That's just simply not good. We want to hold it here. I'm trying to think if this is intelligent. Oh, no, it was not. Yeah. It's all to hold, honestly. It's gonna be hard to win this, like this map, if, if anyone manages to cap, it almost is always just a guaranteed win. But it's a winnable game, which I like. Big fan of that. Just have to hit a few more shots here and there, mainly we have to have someone kill Genji. I'm assuming that one of my DPS at some point is gonna get tilted enough to go like Torb or Kree or something. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of leaving it up to them, because I can't be asked to ask people to swap. It's, it's not necessary, honestly. You could have Soldier Hanzo and beat the Genji just fine, but the problem is the current set of those characters is struggling. Right? The, current, the current way it's being played, the current people on those characters are struggling. Then again, I've seen people just kind of lock in after a round. 
without swapping characters and win just fine. Which is why I generally don't ask for a swap. Because I don't know at what characters you're good at. I don't know if you're just having an off set of fights. I don't know if there's another problem I have to deal with. If there's something that's fucking up your game and you need someone to deal with it, you can mention it, right? So let's say, for example, you're able to kill four, but you don't, you're don't. you not able to kill Genji. Then you can ask. Just say, like, hey, does someone mind trying to help kill Genji? You don't say, oh, hey, somebody swap Torb, 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 we need Torb, we need Torb. Like, you don't, you don't say that shit. That's, it's just retarded. What you do say is, can someone help me, help me kind of deal with Genji? And then the people will pick characters that they're good at and pick what works for them for dealing with that character. And you'll get way better results. Because if somebody doesn't play Torb, it's not like he's hard to play. But it'd be better if, if, let's say, like someone you know plays as Kree as a secondary, and you ask him to play Torb, right? It's not like he's going to be bad on Torb. It's not like it's going to be a throw inherently. But he would do more on Kree, and he would have went Kree if you just asked for help. Oh, Ana didn't make it in time. There, come this way. Here, Kiri. Heard a hook. I thought I heard a hook. Did I not hear a hook? Was that a melee? I don't know. Oh, there. What the hell? Look at that. That is beautiful. No smiles for you. We don't need like a reap or anything. We just play together a bit better and uh, we have works. Normally people would pin that right away, I just figured we had enough damage there that I could hold pin and that maybe be useful later. Might not even end up being useful, but it's a good habit to, to kind of be having. Is conserving your cooldowns when you can. Whoops, that one's, that one's actually my bad, I did some weird shit there. And this one's also my bad, that was even worse. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Got out nano blade or some shit. There we go. Man, I should keep on alive. Sick. Now we're like up one or two. I saw that ult in his eyes. The hog. When people walk a certain way, they they kind of make their intentions clear, and that is exactly what happened there. Uh, his hook attempt blocked. They have no sleep. Beautiful. Damn, he died before they were connected, but I did get him. And that makes me happy. Problem is, at some point, if we cap second, he's just gonna go bash in, we're just gonna lose again, and I don't I don't know how we fix that, to be honest. Like, that's, that's just an unfixable type of thing. But yeah, that Lucio, my team just did a trial run, he's like, okay. Does L playing Lucio help the run? No. Let's get back off Lucio. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things that have to change for me to start killing 5 of it. And this guy swapping character would be one of them, but not in the way you'd think. So I'm a psychopath. I actually did swing wide there when I pinned specifically to try and bait the uh, sleep, and it worked. Why is he not answered?
parked in. You think they see nine this? That answers that question. You can shoot my shield. Big, they have a lever. Let's go. Is that Hoggle? Last time that was Hoggle. This time it probably will be as well. Uh, can we anti hog here? They just use cleanse. He's on the right. Kirino TP. There you go. All that you have to do to win a fight is have someone on the enemy team leave the game. It's really that easy. Uh, cause we're low on time, no point in really making more space here. It's better to have three on. Especially at this part of the map, it wouldn't do anything. Uh, they're back on Bastion. I'm gonna need a lot of help with that. Nice. Just hog, just hog. Nice. Look at that. Instead of instead of bashing being like, guys, Winnable. we need a reaper, we need a this, we need a that. Literally just play the game and it'll generally solve itself. Like people don't want to lose. Nobody wants to lose at any point. And if they realize that I'm not gonna swap and that you're not gonna swap and that other things aren't gonna change, somebody on your team will make that change. A lot of the time that person should be you. If you realize something's not happening, try to be the change that you want to see, you know? Like, the the one support on my team that's like, I don't, I, I felt like they were supporting me fine, but they tried, like, Lucio, they tried Brig, they, they did, like, a whole set of characters and trying to figure it out, and they did. Like, we, we started winning a lot more when they were experimenting. And that was without me saying anything to them. We didn't make them feel any worse as a person. Right, it's it's like it's kind of like the thing where it's like if your parents ever tell you, let's say we're finally about to clean your room, yeah, you know? and your your mom walks in and says, "Oh, you should clean your room." Now you, you don't want to clean your room. Uh, I'm probably gonna hold the corner, but I'll start top. Like I'll just drop down as they walk in. But I just want to stay up here so that if their tank walks around, I can be here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the same type of shit, right? You tell someone, hey, swap Reaper, swap Reaper, like, no one wants to swap Reaper. Even if I wasn't on a Ryan one trick account, if I have someone bitching at me to swap Orisa every five seconds, I am literally not ever going Orisa. I'm dropping down. Brutal. Kenji's on you too. Help me carry, help me carry. Can die, Al. Let's, ju let's just get out. Don't die, don't die. Alright, are, are, are we ready for the recon test? Uh, right. yeah, we're all here. Right, I'm dropped. Trace her on the right by Mega. I can't contest her. Recall. Genji low. No, no Suzu. The Ryan is kinda low. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, decent fire strike. I think Tracer and Ari. Not 100% on that, though. Get you dead, get you dead. Big. I'm, I'm getting pins. Never mind. Thank you. Save Suzu before Ryan gets anti. <laughs> we both did that. I got Kiri off of it. They're Kiri's dead, they're Kiri's dead. We win this. Nice. Ana, Ana, nice. Good stuff.
Look at yeah, that. Cool. Like, people generally they want to win. Uh, if you speak in tank, if you speak in voice though, people generally are less likely to just start talking shit, which means that people just start winning the game. It's it's a crazy weird effect. Like nobody talked back ever at this whole point in the game, but our soldier locked in. You know, he saw me trying, he saw me calming, he saw me like still playing the game. I was doing this stuff every other game, by the way. Whenever I'm on run, I'm always putting in some type of effort trying to do something. But I'm not verbally talking about it. But because I was verbally talking about it, rather than saying like, "Your shit, Ryan," you know, get good. Yeah, these people were like, "Oh, let me, let me fucking let me lock in." You know, this guy's locked in. Let me lock in with him, lock in together. And then after he locked in and he, he was fully back into it, then he started talking in comms. And, and I mean, look how well that's paying off. We turned this game from like looking really bad, looking like a, a sure loss, to having the enemy tank swap like six times. And the rest of their team be really confused. Like, uh, <laughs> it's night and day, man. It's a night and day. Where are this guy's practicing? I haven't seen this little Kiriko warm up routine before. Everyone, everyone's got something they normally do when they're just like dicking around and spawn walk around or whatever. Right, so I haven't seen that one. They do a bastion again. See, that's someone on the other main team who's just, you know, rather than trying to lock in, trying to be good, he's just like, oh, let me fucking counter pick and try to win this one. We're down Kiri, we can walk cart. Dead. The Bastion's one. Never mind, he's healed. Yeah, that was my bad. Pick greedy. We had a pick on Kiri. If I don't pin in there, we, we have a better chance of winning that fight. Wasn't 100% sure where everyone is, though, and I felt like there's a decent play. Don't feel too bad about it. Yeah. Uh, let's take Kaya. Let's take Kaya. Right, I'm pinning up right now. Bastion revs. Back around the corner for a sec. The team's all up here. Nice pick with a... They have no sleep or into or nano. Yeah. The fuck? I'm cock for you to stain it. Nice, nice. I'll be in to come up. We got Genji. Back up, back up. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go cart. We can meet up there. Anna, play top with me, Anna. They're backed off the top. Except for Bastion. He's kind of... Uh, Ryan pinning you. Ryan pinning you. Bastion shooting me on cart. Yeah. Shit, I should've blocked that, my bad. Nano me, nano me. TP. Yeah, now. I'm trying to hold Shatter for last year. Okay, we almost have uh, Katsune. Tracer's going back. I'm shattering in 3, 2, play 1. Little, little. Oh, Bastion speed. Big, Bastion speed. big. Oh, touch, touch, touch. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on. Shoot Ryan, shoot Ryan, shoot Ryan. Nice! Look at that! Look at that! The game just wins itself! They pulled out the Bastion, they pulled out everything, they pulled out all the stops, and we win. Because these people are trying. Imagination Distant TV. Is that the Twitch? Yeah, I'm surprised he swapped off Hog. Yeah, that was a... Did he just get bored or something? Like, <laughs> I was yeah, very confused. Wanted the, he wanted the, Rhine the Bastion one was like, yeah. Because he was on offense, I guess he didn't want to try it, but I think that that really didn't make a lot of sense from the Hawks' perspective. If you want the Rhine Mirror, just do it earlier. Like, you know, I, I, you waited a long time. But there you go. Another win. We're at 3-0, and now we're going to go get three quick losses to kind of even it out.